This is JC with Scorpio Tarot. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, welcome to the to the to the reading for Scorpios. If you're interested in a Scorpio, uh, who wouldn't be interested in a Scorpio, and you kind of get an insight of what they're thinking. But Scorpios, welcome back. Thank you for always being there for me, for the likes, the comments. You know, any you know, any time, any kind of interaction with the, the channel, it helps benefits me greatly to have you guys uh, support the channel as, as best as y'all can. So I've already gotten dealt the cards out because I, you know, I kind of realized that these these readings get too long when I'm shuffling them, and I, you know, I'm kind of like all over the place trying to figure out put the pieces together. This way, I can actually put the pieces together beforehand and kind of give you a more more uh, accurate reading more precise reading, kind of already have my thoughts straight when I'm kind of like putting the pieces together. So this is how I'm going to start doing the readings. It might actually be less than eight minutes to do these readings now, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so let's get to your reading. So <laughs> the energy that you guys are in right now, the main energy, especially for this love cycle and this love reading, we're doing this down at the angle of Scorpio because, you know, you know, Zod Zodiacs, astrology and tarot don't mix very well together, but out of the angle of Scorpio, you know, there's messages for everybody in these in these readings. Um, you're in the hermit mode. And we all kind of tend to know that Scorpios tend to be in the hermit mode all the, a lot of times. You know, contemplating, trying to learn the lessons from the past, trying to learn, you know, you know what what lessons are there to be learned from every situation that they're, they're being dealt with. Um, um, so what I'm kind of getting with this cross by the, the page, of, page of Cups is like, I kind of feel that Scorpios, you guys are being offered, you know, these small offers, opportunities for, for there's little flickers of love being in your, in your psyche right now. You're in your, in your energy. These, these flickers of, of energy, of flickers of love or these small amounts of love, they could be blossom and burst something brand new. And it could, be, it could be something that really excites you to move forward, move forward when it comes to love. But you kind of, you kind of keep yourself from having these opportunities you're the one that kind of overthinks things through. You you stay up late at night. You know, you you're keeping your thoughts are what's keeping you from enjoying this new cycle with somebody. You know, in order to start this new cycle with somebody, you're gonna have to off take an offer, take this offer from this person. So I kind of feel someone's coming towards you. They're gonna make a small offer to you. Be a little bit open. Be a little bit open right now, because I do hold, I do see you holding your feelings to your chest, and and when you're holding your feelings to your chest. It could be that, you know, and I'm just going on a limb here, but I kind of feel that this is someone from the past that might be coming back to you, that you're going to, you're going to have to be very careful. It's going to be a small offer. Um, you want, you, it'll, you want it to excite you. You want the offer to excite you, but you're still holding on to the past. You're still holding on to your feelings. You're still not ready to put your guards down. You're having everything, you're playing everything close to the chest. Because I kind of feel that you already know what you want and you've been focused and, and very focused on what you really want in, in, in the situation. And you're sitting high, my high and mighty as this, this king of wands. Very focused, very energetic, very passionate. That's the way a Scorpio is, very passionate. Even for a water sign. You know, it. even for a water sign, you kind of come out as like a fire, very passionate person. You're very passionate about the person you love. You're very determined. You're very loyal. You are... You know, with the with the the wands, it's very sexual energy towards this person. So, but you're just you're just keeping things close to the chest. This person is going to come and give you a small offer. It could be enough to birth something new into your existence. But I kind of feel that with with these other cards, Scorpio, you're going to be kind of looking at still kind of keeping your 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 guard up when it comes to this person. And because you know what you want, you know you want that deeper, that deeper connection with somebody, and and that's what we're waiting for the right offer to come in for you to jump on it. So it's about opportunity and waiting for the right opportunity to lower your guard, to let this person in, and kind of show them that this is what a Scorpio is for you, and what it means to be a Scorpio. So cross watchers, thank you for watching. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, just kind of kind of be aware that they have their they already have your sights on. If you're if you're this person that they you're that's interested, you're interested in a Scorpio. They're, they have their sights set on you. They're just waiting to see what kind of offer you bring them because they do want to start something new with you. They will try. They want to try to lower their guards. They want to try to end the cycle of having their guards up and always being in their heads. So be patient with a Scorpio. Be, please be very patient with them. 
Um, Scorpios, lower your guards, man. I, I can't, <laughs> can't emphasize it enough. You guys are, uh, y'all need to just lower your guards, lower the walls, kind of open up a little bit more. Um, it's just, in August, just, it's, it's just time, time to open up. So thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, thank you again. I got these under seven, eight minutes is my goal to try to get them under eight minutes. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like the, like the video, hit, leave any comments that you, you feel um, worthy of this, these readings, if this resonated with you in any way. And thanks again, and you'll have a great one. Bye.